Hello and welcome to another quick tip tutorial from the Reaper blog. I am John. In this video, we're looking at multi-channel files. So as you can see, this WAV file looks kind of weird. It has three channels. This file here came from a sound devices recorder. There's two tracks of the, I think it's the computer output, and then one track for the lav mic. If we play it back, we only hear the computer output. So the voice here, it's just silent. A track in Reaper can have up to 64 channels, but typically you're only going to hear the first two channels. So if we look in our routing, this is a, it's got four channels and uh, the parent channels are channels one to four. So how do we work with a file like this? The easiest way I've found is to duplicate the file for however many tracks you want. Uh, in this case, I would want two tracks. So I have the dialogue on one track and the computer's output on the first track. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to double click the file to open up the media item properties, choose channel mode, and choose uh, stereo one and two. Hit apply. And this one here, I'm going to show you a different way through the right click menu. So right click item settings, and then uh, mono, and choose mono channel three. So now we have the computer's output on this track and got the bleed and the lav mic. Doesn't seem, this is, uh, this is going. And there we go. After that, I would probably group them and then uh, it's all ready for editing along with the video. You know, this is a super simple post-production sort of task. May not be immediately obvious how to work with it, especially if you've never seen a three channel wave file before. I hope this clears things up for you and you know what to do next time. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out reaperblog.net for lots more tutorials. See you guys soon.